Hey everyone, Alyssa here, and today we're talking about does exercise make arthritis worse? I hear this question all the time. And so what usually holds people back from exercise if they start to have some joint pain or know that they have arthritis is fear. It's not necessarily pain. And people usually stop exercising because they're unsure if it's going to cause more damage to their joint or more damage to their cartilage. And so today I'm going to give you three reasons why you should exercise if you have arthritis and give you the confidence that it is not going to make it worse. So my name's Alyssa and I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm the founder of Keep the Adventure Alive where we turn frustrations from arthritis into hope and confidence again while you can keep your adventure alive. So reason number one of why you should exercise if you have arthritis. When you're exercising, when you're doing walking, running, even lifting weights, whatever it is, you're standing usually. And whenever, so think of walking. So you're walking as you take a step on that first leg, you are putting your weight through that leg and that's actually squishing the cartilage. And we're talking primarily between your knee, but also elsewhere as well. But primarily in your knee, you're squishing that cartilage down as you're standing on that knee. Now what happens, and actually some really cool research has just come out about this, that when that cartilage feels that pressure, it actually deactivates some of the inflammatory pathways. Now these inflammatory pathways are full of the cells that come in and start wreaking havoc in our cartilage. So it almost becomes a protective mechanism as you're putting weight on that leg, then it's deactivating those inflammatory pathways. And so when you think about walking, even a lot of times people are really worried about running, it can actually be a protective mechanism for your cartilage. We just have to make sure that we have the right strength and that we have the right body movements in order for our body to be able to tolerate that with repetitions. So exercise can actually protect your cartilage. And I did put the link below in the description to this study. It's a very scientific study. It's very complicated, but basically the summary is that they found that it activates putting pressure on that cartilage, activates some cells that are really working to get those inflammatory cells out of there. And that's gonna bring us to number two, which is exercise activates a process called autophagy. And you don't even really need to know what that means, but essentially what happens is it activates cell recycling. So all those inflammatory cells that are in your joint and that are wreaking havoc on your cartilage are being recycled. And so moderate exercise really starts to increase the amount of cells that we're recycling so it basically takes out the garbage and then it allows new healthy cells to come in. So if you think about it, exercise really starts to bring in all those garbage trucks and then it starts to recycle and get rid of some of those bad cells. And then it brings us to number three. And we know that exercise helps cartilage in these in numbers one and two. Now number three is a little bit different because it indirectly impacts your cartilage. So number three is talking exercise improves your blood. Now what the heck does blood have to do with my arthritis? Well, if you think about, so a lot of times in activity you start to, you start to pick up, you know, low, higher cholesterol and actually there's a few other things that happen when you are inactive, but essentially what happens is your blood becomes thicker. And if you think about it, if you're transporting something by boat, would you want the um, medium that you're traveling in or the water, would you want it to be thick and sludgy or would you want it to be free flowing and streamlined? Probably free flowing and streamlined because you're much more effective that way. Same thing goes with your blood. So think about your red blood cells are carrying oxygen. If you have that thicker blood, it's more viscosity it's called, but essentially just thicker blood, it makes it hard for your red blood cells to carry oxygen to your muscles. So your heart has to work harder, leading to potentially some high blood pressure. It gets clogged more easily with 
in your arteries. And so the thicker our blood is, the more at risk we are for lots of different things, but our muscles and even our cartilage isn't getting the all of the nutrients that it needs. Exercise then is going to thin our blood. So it's going to make it more streamlined and more efficient for our red blood cells to travel. And so there's actually been a study on this as well that I'm gonna put in the description below. If you do want to read more details on it, this is a very, very short synopsis. But essentially, exercise makes your blood healthier. The more you move and the more you challenge your body during exercise, the more thin your blood is and the more efficient those cells can be transporting all of the good nutrients that our cartilage and our muscles and our joints need versus if you have thicker blood, the things aren't gonna get there as efficiently. So if we think about just these top three things, very, very brief, but I hope that this gives you confidence that exercise does truly help arthritis and it's not going to make your arthritis worse. Now, there are situations that I'm not going to delve in too much today, but if you're exercising way too much, if you're lifting way too heavy weights, doing all of these other things at usually a high volume or a heavy weight that is way too heavy for you right now, that can lead to some degradation and some some adverse effects in your cartilage. But let's just worry about moderate exercise. So going out for a walk, lifting some lighter weights, if, especially if you're just starting to exercise. So exercise is not going to make your arthritis worse. And so it's time to get started because one, putting weight through your actual joints instead of sitting and resting and laying all the time, that is going to actually help be protective to your cartilage. Number two, it's going to activate those garbage trucks that are really going to take out those inflammatory cells and bring in those healthy ones. And then number three is that it's gonna make your blood more efficient and a little bit thinner instead of that thick sludgy mess. So those are just three quick reasons. I also am putting a link to a blog post that I also wrote that gives a little bit more detail on some of the other benefits if you're not convinced. So go ahead and click that below. Also, if you like this video, hit that like button below and hit that red subscribe button below so you can get updates when I release new videos. We are all about keeping your adventure alive, even if you have arthritis, because it is possible. Again, my name is Alyssa, and thank you so much for watching. Now get out and exercise.